Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Tom Jones Show, the real Tom Jones Show. And we've got a wonderful evening planned for you this afternoon, where we're going to bring in a number of guests and do some overviews of what's happening in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm working with a project we call Bay Area Video uh, Coalition. And working with that, we're doing a lot of work in the areas promoting our community television along with our work in the community. Let me uh, introduce you to a special effort I'm working with. It's called CARE, Cancer Assistance Research and Education, which work, operates out of San Francisco General Hospital. And much of the work that we do is, uh, is associated with working with ex-musicians, entertainers, and addicts and people like that that's going into older age and we're trying to find comfort for them in their later years and working in the efforts where we're using medical marijuana as a sort of medication and it's to relieve some of the stress of those broken down years of being an entertainer, falling out in the streets, ending up in crack addiction, drug addiction, and all of those things. And so we want to call it a, uh, we want to deliver an area of association where we can enlighten people to the many different aspects of how we're out here trying to do better and save our youth of the day to keep from falling into those pitfalls that I just mentioned. And one of our guests this evening is an old friend and colleague of mine. Uh, his name is Bobby Well, well known in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, he he works with the local six, six musicians union. He's a member, member and uh, organizer of the California Blues Society, and he also was uh, the organizer of the uh, Juneteenth Festival around the San Francisco Bay Area. And ladies and gentlemen, and audience, I'd like to introduce to you today this afternoon, Mr. Bobby Webb. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Okay. It's good to really see you again, Tom. Yeah. yeah. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here. Uh, I think you've got the right man to talk about some of the activities and actions around the barrier here in, in the Western Edition, in the Fillmore District. I've been here since I was five years old. Um, a little history on myself. Um, I'm the president of the Blues and R&B Music Foundation. We produced the California Blues Festival in the Golden Gate Park, which uh, happens every Memorial Day the last Monday of May at the Band Shell. Looking forward to seeing everybody out there. And uh, I'm a DJ on a, a KPOO 89.7 radio every Tuesday morning from 9 a.m. until 12 noon. I'm a life member of Local Six Musicians Union. Life member, been in there quite a while. And uh, I can go on and on and on, Tom. I, I produced a the uh, Juneteenth here in the, in the Western Edition for 10 years. And um, I'm a band leader and musician and a father. <laughs> That's good. Hey, Bobby, I was at a meeting with you recently over there in the Fillmore area, and you made some comments about not, have not being treated fairly in some of the things you've done around the area. And in that, that, that regard, and I was just wondering, uh, uh, what's the outlook on those things now? Uh, have you been, have that got any better? Or what, what, what could you hope for at the best? Well, you know, uh, what I really need is an office. I mean, yeah, if I have a, an office on Fillmore, in the Fillmore area there, I feel as though I could do a lot more or lots to uh, help produce uh, uh, entertainment in the area and to help to keep... Uh, rhythm and blues, and jazz alive. Um, it's kind of rough. Um, getting an office hasn't been easy. And um, that, that's one of my main goals right now, is to get a, be stationed in an area where I can do <clears throat> better in, in, in the entertainment field. And I'm having a little trouble uh, getting a place to do that. Maybe if you can work with our effort here with Bayback, I've been talking to the people at the West Bay Center about, or the African Culture Center, about using their facility as a type of office, and one of those, there's a possibility uh, that we could use those sites with your office. 
I've been thinking along the lines of uh, promoting our music and entertainment. We have a thing called bad label recording. And what I don't see in the field more is a record shop. Hey, and I was going? thinking about using some of our productions. We've got a lot of recordings. We've got a lot of people working in the field. And if we can get some of the people cooperative work we're doing over there to work in that interest, there's a possibility we can open a little shop and put your office in there if we can get the Bay Area behind us. Wouldn't that what be What do you great. think about you know, that? You know, we once had a record shop called Melrose Record Shop. And everybody from the Western Edition, uh, all around the Bay Area, would go to Melrose Record Shop and buy all the latest rhythm and blues and And stuff and that we have created. That's right. And we That's do not have one. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. Tom, that going. is a great idea. Yeah, and I think we can you know? get it working with Howard over at the Ella Hill Hutch. Mm -hmm. We're working with the African Kent Center. I'm presenting the proposals with the city, working with the building there today, with the, on the, the building right there at Jerk and Fillmore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I've been trying to see about a hotel over there for many, many years. Well, Tom, not that. To honor those musicians. Time. In the old days with Dizzy Gillespie, about them, and we're supposed to be the city. You know, and you, you, not, I want to shoot a rainbow out over the ocean out there, welcoming the people into San Francisco as a goodwill city. Huh? It's a treasure to the musicians and entertainers that help put jazz on the market in America. Tom, That's what Tom, all about jazz is more is all about. Tom, you hit the nail there a minute ago. <laughs> You know, as a kid, you know, I, I was raised here in the Fillmore. I've been in the Fillmore since I was five years old, and I still live in the Fillmore. And uh, as a kid, you know, uh, well, I learned, I took up music in, in junior high and all the way through high school. But, uh, and there's a lot of history in that music situation with me, a lot, a lot of history there. Mm -hmm. But you hit a point a while ago when you were talking about a hotel in Fillmore. We had, we had two hotels in the Fillmore area that was very prominently known uh, amongst entertainers, top-notch entertainers. And that was the Booker T. Washington Hotel on Ellis and the Manor Plaza Hotel on Fillmore. We've always had a hotel and our artists, not just for blacks, but our top-notch artists who didn't mind living in the Fillmore lived in those hotels when they came to town. Bobby Bland, B.B. King, all of them drove their big buses right in front of the hotels. And you know, a hotel in Fillmore of such caliber would be just the thing. It would be a dream. It would be wonderful. Yeah. It would. <laughs> what, can I, what can I say? We need a record shop and we need a hotel. Hotel. In every, the Fillmore. You know, Bobby, you did. And every city you go into. They've got a place in Chicago, the Archway Lounge, in St. St. Louis, Missouri. They have the Veterans Fellowship. And everything in their hotels and places, musicians can go and mingle after hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They get to play at 1, 2 in the morning, and we go over here and kick down by ourselves for half the hour or so. And you know, Tom, uh, not cutting you off, but the Booker T. Washington Hotel as a kid, as a youngster, playing in all the places, all the clubs in the Bay Area, all around the Bay Area, uh, 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 seeing all these great stars go into the Booker T. Washington Hotel and play and live there while they were in town. I, and I'm saying it on film, was the last band to play at the Booker T. Washington Hotel on a Sunday evening. I'll be done. Bobby Webb. At that time, it was well, Bobby Webb and the yet. Spiders, but yeah. now it's Bobby Webb and Smooth Blues. Uh -huh. But my band was the last one to play at the Booker T. Washington Hotel before the big ball came and knocked it down. I dope. was the last one to play there. And I think the gentleman who was the manager there at that time is still around. And I, uh, that, I got living proof. Boy, you're a legend, Bobby. <laughs> I'm trying to you're tell you. Not, there's another legend I'd like to mention in concert. I talked to Luella King today. Uh, and uh, she used to have a place down in Goldies, down on Post. And, uh, no, 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 no. You, you don't want to talk about Goldies. You don't want to talk about Goldies. Take it on back to the uh, Blue Mirror. Blue Mirror, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah.